in the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarim Sud. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make the channel a grand success. We are partner of family. Please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunity into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Okay. Today, I'm going to discuss oil and gas productions, exploration, productions, upstream, midstream, refining in petrochemical, differentiated performance, enabling profit optimization, lecture number 10. Okay, before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse, Kala Rabbi Shrali Sudri wa Yassarli Amri Wahlalu Uqdatam Millisani Yafkahu Kauli Allahumma Rabbi Zadin Ilva. Oh my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and lose a knot from me, my tongue that they may understand my sayings. Allahumma Rabbi Zadin Ilma, O Allah, advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Okay, oil and gas production. This is my plan. I'm going to deliver more than 300 lectures in the next couple of years. So the oil and gas productions, introduction, facilities process, reservoir and wellhead, management system, upstream facilities, midstream facilities, refining facilities, petrochemical facilities, utility system, unconventional, conventional resources and environment effects. Shaping the clean and sustainable global energy delivery. My plan to deliver more than 300 lectures next couple of years. Okay, today I'm going to discuss oil and gas production, well, well casing and completion, lecture number 10. From my next play page, I will give you key takeaway points from lecture number 10. Okay, today we are going to discuss a well, well casing, type of well casings, well completion and type of completions. Okay, this is my first slide going to discuss what is the well basically. Once the well has been drilled, it must be completed. Completion of well consists of number of steps such as installing the well casing, completion, installing the well head and installing a lift equipment or treating the formation if required. Okay, so there are five types of the wells, oil production wells, condensate well, gas production wells, gas injection wells, power water injection wells as well. Okay, now I'm going to discuss a well casing. Installing the well casing is an important part of the drilling and completion process. Well casing consists of a series of metal tubes installed in the freshly drilled hole. Casing serves to strengthen the sides of the well hole ensure that no oil or natural gas seeps out as it is brought to the surface and keep other fluids or gases from seeping out into the formation through the well. A good deal of planning is necessary to ensure that the right casing for each well is in start. Types of casing used depend on the subsurface characteristics of the well, including the diameter of the well, which is dependent on the size of the drill bit used and the pressure and temperature experienced. In most wells, the diameter of the well hole decreases the deeper it is drilled, leading to a conical shape that must be taken to account when installing casing. The casing is normally cemented in a place. If you can see here, in my schematic here, 
you can see here are this is are my production to surface tubing this is are my surface casing cemented apart production casing perforation tubing packer and all into through the perforations so these are different segments of well casing okay now i'm going to discuss types of casing first conductive case second a surface casing third intermediate casing and fourth production casing okay now i'm going to give more detail about each of them on from my next slide okay first is conductor casing the conductor casing which is usually a uh, no more than 20 to 50 feet 7 to 17 meters long is installed before a main drain to prevent the top of the well from caving in and help the process of circulating the drilling fluid up from the bottom of the well now i'm going to discuss surface casing the surface casing is the next type of casing to be installed it can be anywhere from 100 to 400 meter long and is smaller in diameter to fit inside the conductor casing its a primary purpose is to protect fresh water deposits near the surface of the well from contamination by leaking hydrocarbons or salt water from deeper underground it also serves as a conduit for drilling mud returning to the surface and helps protect the drill hole from damaging during drilling process now i'm going to next slide i'm going to discuss my intermediate casing okay intermediate casing is usually a longest section of casing found in a well its a primary purpose is to minimize the hazards associated with subsurface formation that may affect the well performance these include abnormal underground oppression zones underground shales and formation that might otherwise contaminate the well such as underground salt water deposits line strings are sometimes are used instead of intermediate casing liner strings are usually just attached to the previous casing with hangers installed of being cemented into place and are thus a less a permanent casing okay from the next slide we are going to discuss a production casing okay now i'm going to discuss production casing production casing alternatively or called the oil string or long string is installed last and is the deepest section of the casing in a well this is a casing that provides a conduit from the surface of the well to the petroleum producing formation the size of the producing casing depends on a number of considerations including the lifting equipment to be used okay the number of completion required and is a possibility of depending the well at the later date for example if it is expected that the well will be deepened later then the producing casing must be wide enough to allow the passage of drill bit later on it is also instrumental in preventing a blowouts allowing the formations to be sealed from the top should dangerous pressure levels be reached Okay, once the casing is installed, next stage is a tubing. Is inserted inside the casing from the opening well at the top to the formation at the bottom. The hydrocarbon that is extracted run up this tubing is to the surface. Production casing is a typical 5 to 28 meter, 2 to 11 inches, with most production wells being 6 inches or more. Production depends on reservoir, bore pressure, etc., etc., and may be less than 100 barrels per day to several thousand barrels per day, 5,000 barrels or 55 liter, etc., per minute. A packet 
is used between casing and the tubing at the bottom of the well. Okay. Now I'm going to discuss next is the well completion. Oil and gas production. Well completion. Well completion commonly refers to the process of finishing a well so that it is ready to produce oil or natural gas. In essence, completion consists of deciding on the characteristic of the intake portion of the well in the targeted hydrocarbon formation. There are a number of types of completion, which includes number first, open hole completion, perforated completions, sand exclusion completion, permanent completion, multi-zone completion, and drain hole completion. From the next slide, I'm going to discuss each segment in detail. First is open hole completion. Open hole completion are the most basic type and are only used in very competent formation that are unlikely to cave in. An open hole completion consists of simply running the casing directly down into the formation, leaving the end of the piping open without any other protective filters. Okay, next is a conventional perforated completion. Conventional perforated completion. It consists of a production casing run through the formation. The side of this casing are perforated with a tiny holes along the sides of facing the formation, which allows hydrocarbon to flow into the well hole while still providing a suitable amount of support and protection for the well hole. In the past, a bullet perforators were used. These were essentially small guns lowered into the well that sent off a small bullets to penetrate the casing and cement. Today, a jet perforating is preferred. This consists of small electrical fired charges that are lowered into the well. When ignited, these charges poke tiny holes are through to the formation. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to discuss a permanent completions. Permanent completions are those in which the completion and wellhead are assembled and installed only once. Installing the casing, cementing, perforating, and other completion work is done with a small diameter tools to ensure the permanent nature of the completion. Completing a well in this manner can lead to significant cost saving compared to the other types of casing. Okay, now my next slide going to discuss multiply a zone completion. Okay, multi zone well completion. Multi zone well completion is the practice of completing a well such that the hydrocarbons from two or more formations may be produced a simultaneously without mixing with each other. For example, a well may be drilled that passes a through number of formation on its way deeper underground, or it may be more desirable in horizontal well to add multiple completion to drain the formation most effectively. When it is necessary to separate a different completions, hard rubber packing instruments are used to maintain a separation. Okay. On the next slide, we are going to discuss a drain hole completion. Okay, the drain hole completion are a form of horizontal or slanted drilling. This type of completion consists of drilling out horizontally into the formation from a vertical well, essentially providing a drain for the hydrocarbons to run down into the well. These completions are more commonly associated with oil wells than with natural gas wells. Okay, this was my last slide. From my next slide, we will conclude our today lectures. And on my next lecture, we'll give you brief about what am I plan to deliver next lecture. What we have discussed today, wells, well casing, casing types and well completion. Okay, types of the well completion.
Next topic, oil and gas productions. First, we'll discuss wellhead, casing heads and casing hangers, Christmas tree, subsea wells as well. Okay, injection wells. So these are a few references. Qatar Petroleum, Doha Qatar, where we are, I have spent more than 24 years. Oil and Gas Development Corporation Limited Pakistan, World Energy Outlook 2013, US Geological Survey, US Department of Energy, Schellenberger Oil Field Glossary, International Energy Agency, Wikipedia, Oklahoma State, State Oil, Norsec, The Story of the Oil in Pennsylvania, Air Liquid Gas Encyclopedia, natural gas from well head to the burner pit tip. Okay. Together, everyone achieve more. Please do not hesitate. Send me your feedback, comments at t.musu.dr at bath.edu. Thank you very much. Please stay at home, safe, inspired, and blessed. Thank you very much again for your precious time.